Currently, we're trying to expose the swimming muscle of the fish, the, the lateral myotomes, by removing the skin off the sides. And you can see how it's segmented, and that allows the fish to move different portions of its body independent of each other. Ebro's doing a pretty good job there, getting the whole side off. Okay. You can really see that segmentation. Mm -hmm. yep. okay. Those are the vent that's the ventral bundle of the hepaxial muscles. Mm -hmm. He's gonna go up to this one. There are different uh, little compartments or little divisions, so to speak. Uh, like here, like in many other fish, that basically allow the shark to contract certain muscles at a time so that it can get the wavy, swimmy motion in the water. Um, so here actually you can see it really well. These different segments are all different, uh, different muscles that can be controlled individually. And so if this were not the case, if it was just one thing of muscle, then the shark would only go like back and forth and back and forth but with the different segments it has a lot more control. Nice big liver right in here. Based on the video we watched, why does it have such a huge liver? Uh, doesn't it use the liver for... Buoyancy. Yeah. So the liver's got a lot of oil in it, and most other fish, like more modern fish you can say, because sharks, sharks haven't changed much in the last 250 million years. More evolved and more modern fish have air bladders that can help control their buoyancy. Sharks don't have that. But as you guys, I imagine, know, oil floats on top of water. Oil is less dense than water. So sharks have developed these huge livers that allow them to add to their buoyancy because they're filled with oil. Oil isn't that much more buoyant than water, so the sharks have to have really big livers to hold all the oil to make themselves buoyant. Also an interesting thing you can see here with the light is you see that little line just right there? Yeah. That is full of, uh, of little pores that allow the shark to detect different vibrations in the water. 